to have an ear. One of the hardest techniques um, to do, the ball's coming, travelling at a distance, uh, it's coming in at a decent pace, um, but he's caught it flush. You know, I think if, if Tav goes and, and tries that another 10 times, um, it goes all over the place, but he's caught it flush, great finish, um, and I thought he deserved it. it. Look, he's come in for a wee bit of criticism. Um, James Tavernier mm -hmm. you're going to get that when you're a captain of the Rangers um, but I think he handles it well I thought um, I th I, sorry I was just going to say I thought I thought he did brilliantly on Wednesday against Aberdeen at Ibrox as well mm -hmm. he, because but I, then he I, steps up for the penalty but that's a bit of pressure but, but yeah. that's what I mean I, you know like you were saying mm -hmm. he was getting lots of stick in the game I was quite surprised, surprised at how much well. they were jumping on him and yet nine minutes to go mm -hmm. they need a they need the goal to get a point out of that game what a brilliant penalty he took it was and I'm surprised I bump into obviously fans when I'm out and about and, and they give him a bit of criticism what I think's over the top at times because I, I do really rate him like, I think the problem is he's got a young Scottish player behind him mm. and Nathan Patterson and maybe some fans want to mm. see Nathan Patterson come into the team and I totally get that I'm a massive fan of Nathan Patterson I think James Tavernier also brings a lot to the Rangers team now nine minutes to go last Wednesday no a brilliant performance he's got to get that in the back of the net and make it two each it's a lot of pressure on you sure. he goes and he handles that and then he goes yesterday where they got off not a great start but he comes up with equaliser that then kicks Rangers on they get the second goal just before half time and then I thought he was excellent in, in the second half so I'm are surprised and I'm sometimes a bit mystified why the, the, the criticism he gets because I think he's a real good player James Tavernier but it's been long standing the criticism from the mm -hmm. Rangers supporters towards him, it's not just been since um, Nathan Patterson came on the scene. Has, yeah. has emerged, if you think yeah. back to just pre-lockdown, and I think maybe a lot was to do with, with these programme notes, was it the night against Hamilton yeah. Ackies? Yeah. And listen, comments, I couldn't believe the comments that he made, but B, I couldn't believe actually that the, the Rangers match programmes actually you know, printed them. You know, you've got to... You've got to protect remind your players. Us, remind us what you said, Mark. Said, it, was, it was along the lines of basically we are struggling to handle... Pressure. The pressure, you know, when their own supporters maybe get a wee bit edgy and, and, and teams camp in, you know, it was along those kind of lines. Mm. But basically, he shouldn't have been... Now, he might feel it, and obviously he has felt it, but you certainly don't print it in your own in-house um, magazine. But that said, I think he's been, you know, you tend to find that Rangers, Celtic, most clubs have a bit of whipping boys, too, too, too strong, a word too strong, a phrase, but somebody that that they'll quickly get on, get, get on his back and that seems to be the bit position like James, James, like James Forrest at Celtic yeah, maybe yeah, which I also think has been very very unfair you look at the service he's given the club over the period of a decade now and, and, and what he's won he's been right, right, he was right through the nine the row era again you take a step back in your sense James Tavernier he's a captain he's, he's turned 30 so he's got, he's got another four or five good years left in him whether that's at Rangers or not we, we don't know but um for three hundred grand or four hundred grand, Rob, snip. what a what a yeah. bargain he's been. Yeah, you look and you look at him last season. Look at what he contributed to the Rangers last season. He led the team. The goals that he scored, the assists that he had. He's now chipped him another belter um, yesterday, taking the, the, the penalty the other night under pressure. Uh, after missing a couple of penalties, he's still mm. going back up to take one. So I think the criticism is very very unfair towards James Tavernier yes he's not perfect of course he's not if he was a perfect player he wouldn't be playing in Scotland he wouldn't be playing for Rangers he would be down the road he'd be in La Liga so you need to make allowances for every player in this country because they're not the finished article yeah. and never will be that's why they're here but for, for James Tavernier to be singled out I think it's really unfair yeah I'll go back to uh, I think it was even before the programme notes as well um, there was a lot of criticism of his performances when, when Celtic were away in front but one thing that I that stood out for me and that I liked about James Tavernier. He always made himself available. It would have been easy to go and hide and say, oh, listen, maybe I've got a slight injury here. He always continued to put yourself out there and play. And that deserves a lot of credit. That's the things that I look at. And he went through that. And I thought last year he was immense until he got injured. And obviously the emergence of Nathan Parson, I thought he was immense. He pulled Rangers out of some games last year, some great goals. Yeah. I mean, what was it, 20 plus goals? I yeah. think he scored as a right back and now I know a lot of them are penalties. But that's pressure in itself. You've got to stand up there and yeah. make sure they hit the back of the net. So sometimes I'm a wee bit, I, I'm surprised um, at the criticism he gets because I, I do think he's a very good player. He's a captain for a reason because the manager trusts him um, and he's obviously a leader of the group. He's a leader in the dressing room. He's a voice. Um, so... 
No, great finish. Go back to it. I thought it was an immense, and I agree with Craig. If that was a Premier League player down in England scoring that goal, it would have been showed every five minutes in Sky Sports. So I also liked as well about yesterday, I don't know if you agree, agree, Craig, but see when the goal was scored and the pictures watching it in the telly, it wasn't about him, I've just scored a belt. It was, you, you ready? Come on, let's go again. Aha, uh-huh, let's go uh, back. He was getting the yeah. team back, you know, yeah. it was one eight, so there was loads of time, it wasn't it? It was the last minute of the game, they need to go and push for a winner in the last minute. There was loads of time still to play. But you know, it wasn't yeah. about him taking the taking the, the, the headlines or, ho- or hogging it. It was like, okay, job done, go with your clags, back to work. Let's get the game restarted again. And I really liked that attitude about him yesterday. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.